Hey guys, what's up? I1 or Zero here. In this video, we will be solving only one box from Hack the Box called Bounty, which is an easy box. It's a Windows machine. Um, and I didn't have enough time to create more boxes because I'm on holidays. I'm spending my time on uh, personal stuff, but I didn't want to skip it because I got many, many messages saying um, um, these videos are helping people who are preparing for OACB. So I thought let's not skip it, uh, but it's gonna be a short video. But I specifically chose this box because it's a Windows box. And I heard I heard so many times from my friends or from other people who are preparing for OACP that they are having trouble with Windows boxes, especially when it comes to privilege escalation. Because so familiar with PowerShell scripts, when you need to um, upload a file to the victim machine, you don't know the comments, and sometimes people freak out. It's all right. Uh, but I also know that a lot of people fail OSCP exam just because of this reason. They don't know the Windows environment or comments very well. So I thought that let's create uh, one video, one box for only for this so that we can get into more details. I can explain, you don't need to memorize any comments. You can just write them down and you can edit it every single time for, for the box. That's what I'm doing after all these years. So I don't know, you don't have to memorize. So. Um, we will jump in the video. Uh, in a second, I'd like to mention something. If you're thinking that this is, so I went to the style change with my hair. Uh, if you're thinking that this is like the evil doppelganger uh, twin sister of mine, I don't have a twin sister. It's still me, I one or zero. So you will just see me with long hair now. So it's a drastic change I wanted to mention. If you're ready, let's jump in. <laughs> Sex certification, penetration, test, better than the rest. All right, as always, we're starting with an MF scan. We're writing uh, the same option minus SC, minus SV, and VV for variables uh, to put. We're seeing the port 80 is open, which is the web port. Um, before getting more details from it, I'm just going to the web page. And as you can see, this is this image that appears there. I checked the page source, there's nothing there. Uh, so of course the first thing I did is directly brute forcing with Durbuster. You can also use GoBuster or another, any other tool. I'm just using Kali's uh, default tools for these videos. And I found this file, transfer.aspx. It's basically allowing you to upload some files. After checking out uh, for some time, what kind of files that I can upload here, I realized that um, it's a lot to upload .config files. So I was looking for some articles for uh, people who created the scripts before um, for what kind of files I can upload in the config extension. I found this very cool article. So it basically also gives you the script. It, as you can see, there's like ASP codes comes here. Uh, I checked online a lot of GitHub repositories and stuff to see what kind of ASP code that I can write because I'm not a developer. I'm not like writing um, scripts on ASP. I'm not so familiar. So basically I just get this. Um, from one of the GitHub repositories that I found. As you can see, it's getting um, the file that you wanna upload via a PowerShell script. Very cool. So the first thing that you need to do is go into Nishank um, repository, as you can see here. Uh, you can find it on GitHub and it has a lot of scripts that allows you to um, upload files. Uh, this is the one that I'm gonna get a reverse shell of. So basically I just wrote this line at the end of it, which is also specified in the example. And I'm just starting listening on a port. And I will be uploading this file using the web.config file um, using the ASP code that I specified before. So I'm just sending this uh, PowerShell script to the directory that I will be listening on with the Fight and Simple HTTP server. And I call the file test.ps1 in my web.config file so that I'm making sure that they are the same. I'm going to temp directory. It's like, I don't know. Uh, something personal, I always do that. I'm checking if the file is there and I'm starting Fight on Simple HTTP server so that I can send the file to the victim machine. I'm always waiting um, for on the port 8008, I don't know why. And I'm uploading the file web.config, uh, as you can see in my sublime in a second yeah, here. The one that we got from this uh, article, we just modified it with some ASP script that we found in mine so that we can download some file, invoke TCP uh, reverse shell script, PowerShell script um, to get a reverse shell. 
pretty easy, but you need to be familiar with this Nishank uh, repository. It's, it's very useful. Anyway, I need to call the file now. And I basically first did um, with the root directory, I just called the file. Uh, then I realized that it's not the way. And I continued looking for Dearbuster to see what kind of other files or directories that I can call. And um, I realized that there is this other folder that uh, I can, I need to call uploaded files. Uh, when I edit that, I need to upload again. I think there was something wrong with the extensions. Yep. I did again. And when I check my um, netcat listener, where was it? Yep, here, we got the shell. As a low privileged user, if you're asking for who am I, it's Bounty Merlin. Cool. So what am I going to do? I'm in a Windows box. I don't know how to do privilege escalation uh, manually. So the first thing you need to do is you need to upload this file, sherlock.ps1. It's a cool script that allows you to show um, which vulnerabilities that you can exploit. So of course, this is the problematic part for many people again. How do I upload this file? So we will be basically using the same uh, PowerShell script to send the file to the victim. Uh, victim machine. Again, I'm sending the file to the temp director because my file simulation TP server is still there. As you can see, I'm writing the same um, same script um, to get the PowerShell script from my own machine. First, I send it to uh, another directory. As you can see under system 32, I then uh, went to do Marlin users temp directory uh, because I don't have a right privilege on the other directory. So I send a file here. And in order to um, use Sherlock, you can just use find all bonds comments so that you will you will see all the vulnerabilities that exist there. It's very easy to use, uh, but you know what they say, if you don't know, it's not easy if you know. <laughs> so um, yeah, but it's it's not so hard to do privilege translation on a Windows box. You just need to know the tricks. If I'm you, um, I would just write down all the methods that I know in a file. For instance, this one is very easy, sherlock.ps1. Uh, as you can see, after you say find all ones, it says like apparent, appears vulnerable, not vulnerable and stuff. And I'm using this appears vulnerable one, MS051, MS15051. I'm checking for uh, vulnerabilities. I'm checking for exit files online. I found this one, I was trying it, but it didn't work for me. Um, so yeah, it, it also happens, you know, you find the exa file, you're sending it to the victim machine. It doesn't work. Sometimes you need to, you need to be preparing yourself for, uh, finding different exa files. Anyway, I checked again for uh, GitHub repositories and I found the zip file, which worked for me. I first downloaded it and then unzipped the file. And you need to check with system info comment on a Windows box if it's 64-bit um, or not, uh, because you can just send the wrong exit file and it's not gonna work again. Uh, like I said, I'm unzipping the file. There has to be 64-bit exit file there, as you can see here. And I'm just gonna copy this to my temp directory as my fight and simple HTTP server is still working there. Um, and I'm just sending the file like this so with the same comment, same PowerShell script. I'm just changing the file name there. Um, I also sent a netkit 64 bit exe file um, so that I can use this privilege escalation script and netkit exe file to get a shell because netkit is not um, installed on the victim machine, so I have to send it. Uh, netkit for the 6exe, you can find it on Kali. If you cannot find it, you can always um, download it from a GitHub repository. Super easy to find, but um, a suggestion, I think you should download these kind of files, such as Sherlock or Nishank scripts or Linux privilege escalation scripts, uh, other Windows privilege escalation scripts or netkit files, netkit uh, for 32 bits, 64 bits. I think you should download all these files and have them in separate folders like Lin Linux privilege escalations, um, Windows privilege escalations, just keep them in the same folder so that you can use them over and over again. And like I said, always write these um, comment scripts in, in a folder, in a file, 
um, so that you can use them over and over again. I, I still do that over years, so no harm taking notes because you don't have to memorize everything. I mean, it's cool if you're memorizing and writing by yourself, but you don't have to do it. So as you can see, uh, I sent a comment like this, but I didn't realize that the syntax for this prove ASCA file is different. You need to put it in a quotation mark. So I basically write the same comment by just putting this netcat uh, netcat comment in a quotation mark. Um, and I got the shell as root. Super easy. But like I said, um, if you're not familiar with this concept of doing privilege escalation on Windows, it's going to be hard or it's not going to be solvable anymore. Uh, but this box is easy for a reason. Um, like I said, it's, it, it, it took how many minutes? Like seven, seven and a half minutes. And um, it's a really easy box, but you need to be familiar with how to do Windows privilege escalation. Sherlock.psp, PowerShell script is one option there. Um, you need to know how to use PowerShell comments, PowerShell scripts to send the files uh, to the victim machine. And you you should also be familiar with this Nishan scripts like invoke PowerShell, um, reverse PowerShell, reverse TCP shell scripts. Yeah, if I can speak. So like I said, these are the cool methods, but if you know these, they're always gonna be in your pocket as your skill set. Like I said, I didn't have so much time this week, so I just created this video for one box, but in the next weeks, I will continue creating more challenges in like 20 minutes, three boxes and stuff. And I checked my schedule uh, for how many more videos I will create. I think there will be at least like 10 videos, 10 boxes coming. So um, stay tuned. Cheers, guys. This one dedicated to all those who complete the mass sex certification The ones who not fall to not waver No one to try hard or get braver You must not feel, you must not nigga the bus Try harder, you must Of sex, say try harder Only way to get your OCP You must try harder